Good morning, Sassies. Coming to you a different way. Um, I am downsizing, getting rid of beloved CDs, you guys. Now, the process has already started, as you can see from here. Don't mind the dust, don't mind anything, because I'm getting rid of my beloved CDs. Now, what I am doing first, which I started that pro I started the process um, about 10 years ago of making sure that I had my discs on some type of digital drive, but I didn't quite finish that process because I have over a thousand CDs um, and I had over a thousand CDs then. So, because in the last um, seven years at least, I know I have, I've only, if I've purchased a CD, it's been six. I can think of maybe that have come out. I know um, Tony Braxton and Babyface did a duet, which I own the physical copy. I think Chrisette Michelle put out something and I had gone to her concert um, for as long as I've been in my home. So that's how I'm understanding it was about seven years ago. So guys, um, here we go. I'm, I'm making sure that I'm keeping a pile of what I know I need to download digitally in case something happens. There's no internet, um, was something, my streaming service, um, which I use Tidal. So, you know, right now we have it. We've had it for a while, uh, but I, nothing is forever supposedly so hopefully it is but you never know but i you know you can put on youtube and hear an, an album basically so there is a way to get our music whether you pay for streaming services whether you just download everything you buy etc but as far as keeping all of this and then there's more which i'm going to insert pictures of just more. I have a box, which I will insert a picture. <laughs> There's a box that I did not unpack. So that definitely means those hard copy physical CDs I have not reached for. Now, have I played the music? Of course, I love my music. So I'll go on title, search for whatever I'm looking for. And there's that, this is not a sponsored video. A, friends, a friend of mine, shout out to you, Aaron, um, and another friend, Karen, which I nicknamed Emily. Um, well, my daughter nicknamed her Emily. They let me know, hey, get, get, get title. You don't have to, what, what are you doing? So, and they were right. It, I've tested it. Title even has my rare collection of uh, Cap Calloway, etc. So you're not, I'm not missing anything. So anyway, I just thought I'd get on here to show this whole situation. And it's a situation. So, um, Music Soul Child, I have a lot by him. I have more than this. Some are who knows where, but, uh, the physical copy, goodbye. Now, I tried selling uh, n number one, number one, just so you know, I'm in the process of an exciting adventure I'm embarking on. So I don't actually have the time nor the patience to sell CDs, one CD at a time on a platform like eBay, uh, Macari, Amazon, the main platform I, I one would use. I don't have time for that. And these days, you know, CDs are going really for, yeah, you could pull it up and see maybe $5.99, $4.99, And also, um, but then you have to take into consideration, you got, you have to pack it up, ship it, all of that, which I'm not doing. Or, nor do I have the time and patience for all of this. Plus, there's more, you guys. There, there's a whole 
Um, there's a whole nother structure over here. Uh, there will be pictures and there's a different structure of a case in my dining room. And then there's a whole unpacked box. There's CDs also in other places. Um, so it, it's just getting to be a bit much. <laughs> I'm gonna link below my DVD storage um, sort of declutter or making space video that that was a hit uh based on the views i am going to link that below it's all in the same vein of sometimes we need to change our mindset guys we just we have the same mindset um you know people i know especially of my generation that purchase cds they still actually have them you know one of my friends told me well she has them in suitcases i have another friend that's uh transferred hers from the discs to uh cases like i showed in my dvd storage uh just to slim down the storage space you can change these out these these cumbersome cases into slim plastic sleeves which is a wonderful idea, wonderful idea. So if you guys still want to keep your physical copies, I do suggest that you watch my video that will be linked below on storage. And there is a link uh, for the seller on Amazon. And you know, if they, I, I recorded that about the same year I moved into my house. So again, we're talking about at least six, seven years ago. Um, so if that seller's not still selling, then definitely it'll lead you to one that is. But I believe I checked that link recently. So anyway, oh, and I called, okay, so this is my story about um, not sell, not choosing to sell them. I did um, inquire at a pawn shop near me that's a well-known and well-respected entity they, um, I turned in some gold that I, you know, herringbone and with the flex on that. You, I, I personally stopped wearing my herringbone years ago. So I had some beautiful bracelet, some beautiful necklace bracelets, bracelets, and just all, other old gold jewelry, maybe a half of a gold earring, uh, didn't have the other, didn't want to keep it, stuff like that. So I did exchange that gold, which was at that point, gold was going for, Seventeen hundred dollars, um, a, a gold type of ounce that they weigh it by. I don't have my notes with me, uh, so um, yeah, that was cool. But anyway, I did inquire. Hey, if I brought in a box of CDs, and even if I wanted to sell a box, say for however many are in there, let's say two dollars a box. Let's say, but I couldn't even get that out. Absolutely no, he said absolutely no i said you said absolutely yes absolutely not um very politely said that and everything they're just not moving no one's using them and um earlier on it should have been thought about not putting them in these black cases so i called the library this morning excuse my appearance i am working on packing up stuff doing a lot of things so you got to take me as I am this morning. Uh, but I, I, so I called the library to this morning and inquired. And they explained to me that they do have a, um, some type of resale uh, platform that they use. And they told me exactly what to do. Um, to it's best to bring the CDs in bags because I'm going to be depositing them in like a huge mailbox type thing. It won't be like going right into the library. Um, they told me exactly where to go and these items definitely won't end up in a landfill regardless of whether they resell them, donate them or what. So I thought that was awesome because otherwise it's taking them out, maybe, you know, putting the plastic in for recycle, but then it's so many of them that that's a huge thing. And somebody may actually want to, they, you have collectors out here. 
that want uh, Christopher Cross the very best of. They want, well, I'm keeping Malcolm X, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm also keeping uh, my Nikki Giovanni, uh, her poems. So there are a lot that I am keeping, my Ray Charles. Now, when I say keeping, all I'm going to do is take out the, the artwork and the CD and put them in one of those plastic sleeves. Uh, because like I said, some of these you never know. And my mindset back then was when I purchased all these, it wasn't so much my mindset was as a collector, but I was pulling out my music, actually listening to them. So my collection is so vast because of my love for music and different genres. I mean, uh, R&B classics, Aretha Franklin, uh, Donny Hathaway, Natalie Cole, um, I, I have all, all everything, Etta James, um, John Lee Hooker, um, Ray Charles, did I say Ray Charles already? And I'm just trying to think, we'll see them as we go, but again, this isn't the only stand that I have, you guys. So... I love my hip hop. I love my, um, what else? My jazz. I have, I have just all kinds of stuff. So she told me, she said, just place them in this bag. So this bag, this would be the ones that I'm going to take up there. Uh, Carol King and James Taylor. Now I might I don't know, but see, this is what I'm saying. When you love music, it just seems kind of crazy to start donating it, even though my mind knows that I can still get my music. People of my school, it, I, I don't know. It was just something about, okay, I have it, I pop it in. But these days, y'all, to play the CD, I either have to put it in my MacBook my MacBook Pro, or I was playing them on a DVD player hooked up to my receiver and speakers, which I'm getting rid of my speak, my J beloved JBL speakers I've had since the late 80s. You guys, but it's a whole new day and age. It's a whole new day and age. I think my generation is the generation that saw 45s, some of y'all was like 45s, what's that? It's a smaller version of an album. It's what you know as a single. So we have 45s. I grew up purchasing 40. Can I have a dollar? Go down to the store as a seven-year-old to get 45s. Albums. Then we went to um, eight tracks. Then cassette tapes. Albums. Um, still was there and floating in the background, even with eight tracks. Eight tracks were mainly on the move type of music. Um, even though you would listen to it in your house, but for some reason they seem more mobile and people still bought albums. So then we progress from eight tracks, like I said, to now you have cassette tapes. Ooh, that was a thrill because, well, they were a fifth of the size of a big old eight track. I'm probably exaggerating, but at least a third of the size and much less thicker. Then all of a sudden you're collecting your cassette tapes and they go, Hey, you can definitely get, um, you can definitely get, this is, uh, Roy Hardgrove, the RH factor y'all. This is Roy Hargrove, nothing serious. This is George Howard. You see yellow stickers because back then I got this. I don't, I'm sorry, y'all. I would get CDs from the UCD store. <sighs> y'all just don't understand. Just George Howard, George Howard. So as you see, I tried to keep a lot of them, um, the soundtrack to City of Angels. 
soundtrack, Prince's soundtrack to Batman, all the Prince's stuff. So you're shopping one day and someone goes, oh, y'all, they got CDs out now. They can't, you know, they're, they're more durable than an album. You don't have to get up to change and try to find your right track. You're going to just push a button and the machine is going to say uh, track three. So you can immediately go to whatever track. So, of course, that was that started being all you needed was a CD player. Whether it was portable, whether it was our Walkman, yellow walk. I had a yellow Sony Walkman that I could go around with with one cd it was it was large enough for a cd you can look it up on the internet yellow cd walkman so it was pretty much shaped like this you pop your cd in me being in chicago i jump on the trains the l's etc um plus you just built a deck system which is what i've had till just recently when i just recently demantled it so I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I, and this is all my goody mob. What is this? Ziggy Marley. We got goody mob. That's my dog snoring. My dog cashmere. We have goody mob. So for you guys that think, um, and I can't even remember his name at this moment for some reason. Uh, this one that went so CeeLo uh, that the world started with CeeLo being off on his own oh no goody mob goody mob goody mob um, so it's just everything these CDs have meant everything Jackie Wilson. Guess who's guess who's on title though? Jackie Wilson. Now I most definitely am going to uh put him in sleeves though. He's definitely not going in a bag because you just never know who's going to get upset about the rights to his who, who knows. But definitely this was hard for me to come by. I searched far and wide, came across this at a used bookstore. I paid twenty dollars that's how important it was um just everything you guys jay stay paid jay dilla jay dilla's in a soft cover which this is what they should have been doing at first so he's coming with with me just like this you know rest in peace jay dilla so he's going in the pile that's coming. Jack and Wilson is going in the pile. Uh, the good mob, I'm going to, I think I've already done it, but I'm going to make sure I put them on my digital downloads. Uh, Run DMC, greatest forever. So what I'm doing is transferring them to this bag, what's in the bag already is um, Damien Dane, <laughs> all of my Anthony Will Anthony Hamilton's because he's been downloaded already onto digital. This is so sad to me. This is so sad to me. It feels so weird. It feels so weird. Do y'all know what weird feels like? This feels weird. My Diana King. This is so weird. Diana King. Love her. Love her. Love her. Um, tougher than love. Think like a girl. Love her. I got to make sure she's downloaded. I love all of them. I got all the Eric B and Rakim. And what's so funny is they're definitely not, this is definitely not all, but here we go. And anybody who know me already know what's going on with these. 
this can definitely come with it soft um rakim rakim i have more rakim because but i have it somewhere else because i was downloading it i also um have different players where i'll make sure maybe it's in a different room so this is crazy i'm going to be at this for a while thought i'd come on and just share share some of my collection for my memories as well as with you guys um and don't think nas is not represented oh my god nas definitely represented this is mixed in here why clef john How deep was this? A conversation about Nas turned a friend of mine on who had just thought rap is just, you know, violence for violence or whatever. I let her know, you have to listen to the words. Get past, if you, you know, the foul language or whatever. It's what you call being descriptive. I got my... Ziggy Marley, uh, you have to get past that and listen to the message. And she did. She began listening. She began collecting her own um, CDs. So yeah, you guys, it's, it's, this is good. this is a lot. This is a lot. And when I keep saying a lot, it's a lot on, on, on my heart, y'all. It's a lot on my heart. Who would think I have the, the soundtrack from Rent? I have Lynn Kravitz. And then uh, some of these collections is when I started. Here's another Earth, Wind & Fire. I have all my Earth, Wind & Fire on my dining room table uh, because I'm making sure that I'm setting those aside, etc. cetera. Um, Jamie Foxx, Phyllis Hyman. The, my beloved Phyllis. It's just, it's just a lot, guys. I feel, I feel so weird. I feel so weird even doing this, but I can't wait to empty this, which I'm going to complete today. And just get a grip on this lyricist lounge one this i probably have this somewhere else but here's lyricist lounge two here's my lyricist lounge one love these enchantment i had the album of of a lot of these i had the album you guys but then my albums got destroyed in a basement sewer backup flood type of situation um, in my beautiful town home when I was living in St. Louis, Missouri, Hazelwood to be exact. So a lot of my, I, when I went down there and saw my, my Prince album, Purple Rain and, and a couple, and anyway, I saw all of my albums, Stevie Wonder's, Songs in the Key of Life, just so many. I had a good collection of albums. Most of them were wet, Michael Jackson, et cetera. I could go on and on. Diana Ross and the Supremes, Natalie Cole, uh, you name it. Because when Bootsy Collins, when I started buying my albums for my generation, I was, what, in high school. 
because until then maybe I was buying uh, 45s. And I might have been in grade, grade school, don't quote me, but um, no, it was high school because I didn't have money to just go by like that um, in grammar school. But anyway, so I started also collecting not only my music that was popping during my time, Bootsy Collins, uh, The Commodores, <laughs> Aretha Franklin Sparkle. Um, I'm about to, to tear up just thinking about it is crazy because I went down, saw all these albums, wet, soggy, so I, I just was like, well, how am I going to save them? And threw them in the dumpster and just threw my record player there too. It was crazy. Um, it was crazy. And so same thing with these CDs. It's emotional for me, y'all. I'm not embarrassed to say it's emotional. I'm looking to see what else I have and people's. Gotta make sure I do something with her. It's so much y'all. Y'all know I got Lionel Richie, Melvin Riley. I forgot how I found out about Melvin Riley. It might've been his song playing on the radio, but I love me some Melvin Riley. It's just so, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Here's another goody, goody mob. It's crazy, y'all. I can't even, I'm going to be whew, half the time trying to figure if I'm just, what I'm, you see, what have I put in here so far, y'all? <laughs> but anyway, I'm supposed to fill up these bags, take them when I finally get myself together, take, take what I'm donating on. Um, but it's just crazy. Rosie Gaines from Prince's uh, New Power Generation. This is her masterpiece. It's crazy, but nobody supposedly is interested in CDs anymore. Of course, I got all my mazes. Of course. I got the roots. Is this the roots? It should be. And it's not in here. What is this? No, this is Kendrick Lamar, and he's not in here because it, it travels with me and when I go different places. Uh, just a lot of stuff. Who remembers Me, Fi, Me? It's like a, a fraternity album. There's a lot of, uh, you know, stomping and Me, Fi, Me, y'all. It's just a lot. I got my gang star. Some pins. I think gang star is going so far back. It's not funny. So this is a Marvin Gaye. Oh, Gil Scott Heron. This is not my only Gil Scott. Uh, but we got Guru Jasmine Tag. We have Gurus, Jasmataz, Volume 1. That first one was Volume 2. We have Gangstar. Rest in peace, Guru. We have Gurus, Jasmataz, Street Soul. We have another underground airplay by the Lyricist Lounge that I showed earlier. We have Gangstar, Hard to Earn. I love me some Gangstar, y'all. Then out of that, we still have another Gangstar. You see DJ Premier. It's just something else. I don't know how I'm going to get through all this. We have the Grandmaster Flash, The Bridge. Marvin Gaye's Here, My Dear. This came out when I was in eighth grade. I know my friend Sandra. I think she really liked that song, Here, My Dear. Yep. It says 1978. But I know she was not living in Chicago then. 
But anyway, y'all, here's some stuff, some stuff when I used to just like to carry around CDs. My Scratch, my Bob Marley. It's a lot going on, y'all. It's a lot going on. And we had, um, I display, this was kind of in order by alphabet. So like the A's, B's, and C's is in a whole nother situation. And then after, I know I have another stand that starts with M's, Mariah Carey, et cetera. Then I don't, who knows what's in this box. Then I had started putting uh, just the linear notes, the, the album art and the CD in these black binders that zip, that just has slots. I know um, my, my, my people will remember that. So anyway, y'all, I'm about to cut it short. It's just more of me going through all of the comments, Nelly, uh, nobody, I don't even know if y'all remember Raw Digger. Look at all the dust, y'all. Don't, don't, don't judge me. That's another thing. Who has time to go around dusting CDs? Ronnie Jordan brings back memories. One of the, this is one of the first jazz albums that I bought uh, a copy of this for my son. Uh, make sure he was getting educated in his jazz tower of power. Just everything. There's so much stuff in here. Al Jarreau. It took. I didn't start liking Al Jarreau until I was forty. I went to a concert, an Al Jarreau concert, with my son, with my newly born daughter. It was. Um, out in a, a park in St. Louis. Um, it wasn't a regular park. It was, uh, anyway, it was it was built like a concert park or whatever. And Al Jarreau was there, Marlena Shaw. <laughs> and um, this was in 2000, I want to say 2003, I want to say maybe 2004. So I was still so happy that Melina Shaw was there, was still alive, because I was listening to her in grammar school. And um, here's some Hiroshima, just everything. And, and not, because it's a whole collection of stuff somewhere else that I have to, in a whole different room. Um, there's some papers I have up there. Let me click, uh, DJ Cool. Two different versions. Uh, let me clear my throat because what they would do is mix it. I'm not from Philly. Let me clear my throat. Uh, I got, I got that feeling. So this must have been the album. I'm sorry that it was on. And then this is different versions. Classic Cool, original version, old school Reunion me remix, Funk Master Flex remix, Tupac tribute, tribute edit. So, yeah. Anyway, you know, it's just crazy. Otis Redding, Wilson Pickett. All this stuff is on title, so don't ask me why I'm acting like I'll never see it again. Lauren Hill, of course I got that. Um, Shine, who's doing big things in Belize now. Go Shine. Just, I heard a um, speech he gave. I'm, you know, I was very proud. I'm like, okay, Shine. Very, very, just, um, you guys had to check it out. Just, uh, you can go on YouTube. Search for Shine. It was really, he's, um, I guess he's all, he was a, always from Belize, I imagine. And anyway, he's actually a in the government there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just a lot. I think I'm going to let you guys go. I didn't want to keep you too long just going through all of my music. I might come back again. Love Unlimited by um, Love Unlimited is the group. Um, one of these women was married to Barry White, 
I believe, I believe I want to say it was her. And I want to say, don't, don't, I'm not going to say, because I, I have a name in mind, but I don't want to mess it up. I think it's Cleo. I just said I wasn't going to say that. But um, Patra, Dance Hall Queen. <laughs> so, it's just, I'm going through this because this here is getting out of my house. I'm tired of looking at it. It's just sitting here, not touching these hard copies. I'm just not. So you want to wonder, well, why would you take it out, take out the artwork and take some of them with you? Don't ask me. It makes me happy. Um, but as long as I have them downloaded to it, it'll make me feel secure that if any push comes to shove, I still have access to at least music I purchase and I won't have to, oh, you know, now they dismantled this streaming service, that streaming service. Oh my goodness. Now you need to what, um, I guess go to a different streaming service, but I like the streaming service that I use. So... I don't know. It just makes me feel like I still have some of my music with me that I pay for. But guess what? Whenever you're decluttering, downsizing, remember one thing. It's use per. So it's use per dollar. Remember that I've already definitely gotten all my money's worth out of this. Out of this collection, I've already gotten my cost per use is what I was looking for. Cost per use. Don't always just try to hold on and hold on and just become one of these people that let your things run you because that's what it's doing. Once you, When you have so many items, you have to live in a certain square footage just to hold all your stuff. This wall here, this beautiful wall is taken up by this this here, this um storage unit i have and i told you it's already three storage units uh, racks like this um they're different but then two of my storage units that i hadn't put together for other cds that are different play it's just crazy i have at least probably 1500 cds y'all and that's that's way too much and that was being careful on what i was purchasing I wasn't just out there just, ooh, let me buy every CD I see. Or, ooh, let me buy this because it's a classic. Ooh, let me buy. No, I would love to say to myself, most of the songs on here I love. I love this artist, like all the roots I have. Because um, everything would be popping, jamming. When I'm in the mood to listen to uh, whatever I'm in the mood for, bam, go to my... But you, it's, it got to be a chore just looking through which is why I alphabetized it. So anyway, thanks for joining me, listening to my uh, sentimental journey uh, that of decluttering CDs. <laughs> and love y'all so much. Keep in touch, sassies. Um, please share my channel. Like, subscribe, comment, please. And um, this channel is where we do fragrance, my all my loves fragrance music travel and just talking about life oh i love how the one of my first loves beauty go back in my channel so when you go to my page select videos because i was once using a different channel name um click on videos you will see then hopefully the most recent one. So I'm, you know, fragrance. But as you go down, you'll see makeup reviews, eyelash hauls, um, me doing my henna. There's a lot there, you guys. I just hadn't kept consistent. I got on YouTube. Uh, for some reason, they monetized me right away. My channel didn't grow, so that didn't ever, um, that didn't ever, you know, benefit me. It was fun though, trying to, but um, my channel didn't grow, but that was because of me. That wasn't because of anything else. I worked so hard, 
and just couldn't be consistent, but this is just a fun, I love it. I love it. And along the way, recently, friends have said, girl, you need to, you need a channel. You need a channel. You're always talking. You're always sharing. Um, I'm going to upload a, a video about a, my one of my bags that I have been wanting for at least 15, 20 years and uh, got it in 2021. So I need to post that video because I did record it. It was very sentimental. Anyway, I'm about to go. Y'all help, help me grow my channel. Keep in touch. You never know what we're going to talk about. And talk to you later. I love you, sassies.